you're an organ player and you're playing the foot pedals, remember only play the foot pedals. Have I really been gone? I have been talking for 19 minutes. <laughs> Whoa, wow, okay. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. If you are an organ player and you do not have a bass player, please remember only play the foot pedals if you don't have a bass player. And here's why. You can't see this on the um, screen, but if I'm playing two different bass notes, it just sounds like some sort of construction machine or something. It, it can sound really off. And that's one of those sounds that your congregation or the audience, they may not have a musical ear, but they can tell you something is not right. So don't play the bass pedals on an organ unless you do not have a bass player. Or, 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 hold on, hold on. Um, don't play a bass run with your hand with a real ba with real bassy tones or try to do any type of bass runs with your left hand on the organ if you have a bass player once again you're kind of fighting for um, that sound and your bass player is going to carry like the foundation of your music your bass player and your drummer work together to carry the foundation of your music so as an organ player it's really important to stay in your part of the band. I tell my crew this, if there are five people playing instruments, then you have to divide 100% of the music by five and that's 20%. So each musician is gonna play 20%. If I was playing the organ all by myself, I would have 100% of the music and I could just flow with it and have at it do whatever I needed to do. But the more instruments you add, the less you need to play, otherwise it can get chaotic really, really quick. I hope this helps you today. And if you have any questions that you would like answered on Tuning Tuesday, feel free to email those to us at our email address, which is info at the Stay tuned.